Hey, good afternoon. My uh, friendly boa constrictor here and I are going to talk to you about um, explicit formulas. Sounds kind of complicated, but it's just sort of what we've been doing with arithmetic sequences, but making more of a formula. So today is, what is today? Today is February 3rd. So we want to write that at the top here. So 2, 3, 14, and we're going to be talking about explicit formulas, um, and we're talking about that for arithmetic sequences. Um, so we've been talking about this last week, about this type of pattern. So hopefully you remember now that arithmetic sequences are only arithmetic if they're adding or subtracting the same amount after every term. Okay. So if I look at this um, term, first I want to determine if it's arithmetic or not. So clearly it's increasing, so the question is how much is it increasing by? Well the difference between 25 and 10 is 15. So if I add 15 to 20, I get 25. So then I want to make sure the same thing happens here. If I add 15 to 25, do I get 40? And the answer is yes. So I can classify that as arithmetic. Now the formula we've been using it for the arithmetic sequence is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus d times n minus 1. And we practiced this a little bit in class where the n is the term we're trying to find. That's the first term, second term, third term. d is the common difference, so we now know that that's 15. And a sub 1 is that first term. So ex um, explicit formulas are when we don't know what term we're trying to find. Like so far we've been like find the 30th term times the 50th term in the sequence. Here we just want to come up with a formula. So we aren't going to have a value to plug in for n. So we're going to solve as much of this as we can without having n. So for the explicit formula for this equation I would write a sub n and then you want to plug in what you do know. I do know a sub 1 is 10. I do know that the common difference is 15, but I don't know the term that we're trying to find. So I leave n as n. And then from here we just want to um, simplify. So I have parentheses here and I can distribute that 15. So that will give me 10, oops, 10 plus 15 times n, which is 59n, minus 15 times 1, which is 15. And then looking here, um, I have two common terms. I have a 10, and then make sure you put that minus in front of that. That's negative 15. So that becomes 10 minus 15, which we know is negative 5. So I'm going to write this equation as a sub n equals, I have my 15n here. There were no like terms for that. And then I have minus 5. And then this is the explicit formula for that sequence. So now when they do tell us, like find the tenth term, I could just plug in 10 in here. That would be 150 minus 5, so we know that's uh, 145. So now I have a formula for this sequence, and it's called the explicit formula. So let's do one more example here. Let's look at one that's decreasing. Here these numbers are going down, so I want to know how much they're going down by. And if I know I do 10 minus 8, I'll get 92. So the question is, if I do minus 8 here, will I get 84? So if I do that, I would get 84. So we know it's arithmetic, and now we know the common difference. So we're going to do the same thing here. I'm going to start with my formula. We have a sub n, and then we're going to start with a sub 1, which I know is 100, plus the d, which I now know is negative 8, and then I don't know the term we're trying to find, so I keep that as n minus 1. And so then um, to simplify, I know I can distribute here. So I'm going to keep my 100 here, and that's negative 8 times n, or negative 8n. And then this is um, negative negative. So we have negative 8 and negative 1, and we're multiplying, so that would become a positive 8. Okay? Negative 8 times negative 1. Or if you think about it, you could do uh, bring down, you know, if you want to look at it differently, there's you know a couple ways to look at it. We could say negative 8 times n is negative 8, bring down the minus, and then you'd have uh, negative 8 times 1, which would be negative 8, and then those turn to pluses. Um, so either way, whatever makes more sense in your brain. So again, we have some common terms here. I have 100, and I have 8. So I know together those are 108. So I'm going to 
bring this forward. I'm going to bring down my a sub n again, the arithmetic sequence of n. I don't know what it is. Negative 8n, and then I have 108, 100 plus 8, which is 108. And this is my explicit formula for this equation, or for this sequence. Okay, so again, the biggest thing is the distributing, watching your signs. You need to know what a sub 1d and n stands for, okay? So I would like for you to try this one on your own. Come in with the explicit formula. Um, look at the two examples if you're having trouble with it, but you should come in with something. And so we're keeping this short and sweet tonight, since I know you uh, Bronco fans are still mourning your loss today. Sad game, but great commercials. Good night.